So it's quite afternoon and I thought what better way to spend it than to do a little bit of light upholstery and to start tackling one of the chairs for the 400 bedroom. <clears throat> now we've got two of these chairs, one of them, this one in particular, is in really bad shape. The arms, as you can see here, wobbling all over. One of the legs is snapped and God knows what else is going on underneath with the frame. So the idea is, is to completely strip it and restore all the woodwork and then look at obviously changing the, the fabric and just bringing it back to life really. Someone's already found the new home. Obviously Pandy's loving being on the new chair. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go along. I've got a couple of different tools that I've brought with me, my little upholstery tools. Um, I've got them somewhere around. So I've got one which is a little tack remover and one that's um, that will help get any staples out that are there. So I'll just go along, take all the old braiding off, all of the old fabric, and then hopefully the old matting underneath there, I think is the old horsehair. So we'll reuse that because obviously it's, it is a good base for the chair. And then we'll just cover it in some, um, some upholstery fabric as well and some foam just to, to give it a better seat. Do you like it, Pandy? So yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. So hopefully I can get this stripped and then I can see what condition the chair's actually in. So I'll crack on now. Thank you. 
So, as you would have seen, the chair was in quite a few pieces and it still is at the moment, to be honest. I didn't realise just how bad this one was in, to be honest, how bad of a condition. So, I've let it set for 24 hours. I've glued the first arm back on and connected it up to the leg and strapped it all up just so it can obviously adhere as best as it possibly can. Once I took all of the fabric off and I've just seen how, how bad the frame was, I thought I may as well just take it right the way back to basics and get all the joints properly joined up again and glued because the arm was flexing, the legs were flexing. So wanting this to last, so I may as well just do it properly. So like I said, separated these. This is one of the arms. I separated that section, glued it back in and that's nice and secure now. It's not twisting on out and done the same with that one and I've linked that into the leg and the back. So now that's had 24 hours of set, I'm going to do the same with this side but this side's really bad. Obviously it's missing its leg and the front part as well it completely split in half. So that's the front rail and that had just... To be honest I don't know what they've done with the chair to break it this much. It's been broken one, two, three, four places. So all I can think it's been chucked and that's that's how it's obviously snapped in so many places. So yeah, it's on the way back to recovery. So except the next stages, I'm gonna get these glued in together and then strap it all up, leave it for another 24 hours. And then once that's done, I'm gonna look at trying to put some, some like braces on it just to support it further across the wood. So it's not just relying on the glue. So, yeah, I better crack on. So after a couple of days of work, the chair is fully back together now. One intact chair, which is brilliant. It's all nice and strong, so all of the arms are all staying in place now, where before obviously they were practically just falling to bits. All the legs on, so our missing wonky leg is all back in place and all glued in. But because there was quite a bit missing from this leg, there isn't too much support there. Obviously the glue will end up giving away after a while. So I brought some metal braces to brace it where all the cracks were just to help support it a bit more. So I've got some little angle ones just to put in the corners to help brace it. I've got a full plate to brace along the front where that was cracked. And then I've got a couple of the little bits to help brace the broken leg. On all of these you won't see anywhere, they'll all be hidden inside the chair, so it's just to help give it a bit of support and rigidity with it. So all I'm going to do is just screw these in and once that's done we'll be able to give it a clean down with some oil soap and then we'll be able to get a coat of wax. So we'll just be going over the gill boys again. Once that's done then we can start putting it all back together and getting the fabric on, which is the exciting part. So I'll get these on now and then give it a clean. <clears throat>
So I'm onto the most exciting part of the chair and it's getting the fabric on. So I've got the back cover on. What we're going to do is we're just going to do it all in the same um, colour fabric just so it all sort of blends in. Normally they'll have like a, a sort of different colour fabric on the back, just a normal sort of hessian or a calico or something like that on the back just to sort of finish it off. Where because you're going to see the back of this straight away because it's going to be in the dressing table. I thought it'd be nice just doing it all in the same colour. So, got the back one on already. And it's just looking beautiful. Colour's absolutely perfect for the bedroom. So we've gone with sort of like a soft sky blue velvet. Just so it gives you that beautiful soft feeling as well. And yeah, it's gone on really well. Got the back on. And... Now we can just start building it up bit by bit. So everyone does upholstery slightly different in their own different way. And I've found the way I like doing it is once I've got the edge on, I always like to fold it back in just so it gives me a nice clean finished. Rather than cutting off with a, a blade, you can still get a bit of a sort of jaggedy edge. And it always just looks a bit unfinished to me. We will be putting trim over that, so it will hide that. But it's just still that sort of a little bit of a finish where it just doesn't sort of look right so yeah I'll be able to go along and show you as I'm doing it so now I've got that on I'll get the the back and back on here and then I'll get the cover on that and then we'll be able to put the top fabric on it which is just brilliant hopefully we'll have this chair done back together and then we'll be able to go out get some trim for it and get on in the room which is exciting so I'll crack on now get that on and then go from there Thank you. 
Now the chair's almost done. So it's all been recovered, all put back together, and the colour combination is unreal. It is absolutely stunning. Using the soft sky blue velvet with the dark wood, it's just going to look amazing in the bedroom. So no more that's done. All the edges are nice and tidy anyway. Obviously the way I've reupholstered it. But we still need to hide all of the um, little tacks from the staple gun. So I've managed to get some trim. I've got this beautiful gold trim. And we're just going to put that right the way around the edge. Did see a couple of different ones, but we want it to, to look as old and as original as possible. And this sort of trim is exactly what it would have had back, back when it was new, really. So, yeah, it's not anything over the top or elaborate, but it's just going to give it that final little touch that we need for the chair, really, and bring the gold aspect that we need like, into it. So, yeah, all I'm going to do is just glue it on with a hot glue gun, and then... Every so often I'm just going to put some tiny little tacks in just to hold it and keep it in place. If for any reason obviously it gets knocked or anything like that. So yeah, nice Sunday afternoon, just a leisurely bit of work. So I thought I'd come here in the Grand Salon, got the fire on and I'm going to put a bit of nice relaxing classic chill out on and crack on with a bit of upholstery. Yeah, looking forward to it. So I'll get on now and hopefully we'll have a full chair finished by the end of the episode. And there we have it, the first chair that I've been able to upholster here at the Chateau and 
it's just it's absolutely stunning it's worked out better than what i ever expected to be honest just how beautiful the woods come up how the fabric looks on it obviously having the the soft velvet on it and the trim as well the combination of all three are just beautiful and fits in so well with a 400 bedroom that's why i was after certain parts of the furniture so they all tied in so using those like console tables for little dresses the chair the bed the wardrobe everything when you're in the room now they all gel in together which like i said it's just it really is amazing so still got another one to finish off i'm halfway through the second one just need to get a couple more bits on there got a bit more trim to get on and the pattern to get on and then that's completely done well yeah it's just brilliant and that's what i absolutely love about obviously shadow life really because you can go from one day doing something like this the fireplace in the 401 suite and then the next day under a job like this which is real poster in a beautiful louis the 15th armchair for the 400 suite and yeah it's stuff like that where there's so much variation in the jobs that you do and you tackle and so much that you learn as well while we're doing it all of us have gained so many different skills in every aspect really since we've been here so yeah like i said it's just been been fantastic but absolutely pleased with that but let us know what you think to it how it's turned out if you like the color combination as well that we've gone with with the the gold trim and the soft blue fabric and how you think it fits in with the room really we're just over the moon with it we really are but yeah so now i've done that now i've done that it's time to check out another job so soon there won't be any more to do which will be a good thing <laughs> but no it's all good and one last thing we just want to say a massive massive thank you to tracy my mum and happy mother's day as well so it's mother's day in the uk for all those wonderful mums and we just want to say a massive thank you without her we'd be absolutely nowhere and you know how much she she's an inspiration to everyone um here at the chateau and everyone on youtube so just a massive thank you for that but yeah that's it for today so i hope you've enjoyed my first upholstery video obviously i try to show as much as i possibly can but i was on a bit of a deadline and i needed to get this done so sorry if i didn't show you too much but as you've seen i've got many more pieces of furniture that need reupholstering so there's going to be so many more videos in the future as we get to them so that's it for now hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and let us know what you think to the chair and to the fireplace because both of them have turned out better than what I expected. And we'll see you in the next one. So see you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.